Today I want to talk about some of the selling points and features that are kind of unique to Jayco. Now this is going to mainly apply to the Pinnacle here behind me, of course also the North Point, the sister product, but I think it also will apply to several of the other models that Jayco manufactures, which by the way, I am not affiliated with Jayco, I'm not a salesperson, I'm just a fellow Pinnacle owner. Obviously I like the Pinnacle because that's why I bought it, but my hope in putting this video out is that if you're in the market for a Pinnacle or a North Point and you're researching it, that this information would be helpful in that process. So that being said, I came up with a list of 13 selling points, which you know what that is, a baker's dozen. So let's get started. And by the way, these are in no particular order. All right, first selling point or feature I'll draw attention to here is the filtered drinking water. And jaco has been doing this for a number of years now. I think they have implemented this in just about all their models now. But basically it allows you to bring along your favorite drinking water in a five gallon jug instead of having to rely on the water supplied from your campsite, you know, the municipality. Now, I really like this. Initially, I wasn't really impressed when it came out and I heard about it, you know, because in previous RVs, I just had several filters, sometimes two or three stages of filtration for your drinking water. And that worked out pretty good for me. And then you've got, you know, an endless supply of water. But then, you know, we start camping at different places where maybe the municipality that had a taste in the water just wasn't what you're accustomed to. And so it is kind of nice to be able to take that water that you're used to from your home, especially if you have a, you know, like a reverse osmosis system or something that really has a, a pure tasting water. And you just fill up your five gallon jug and then you get that same water here in your RV. So it's a really nice feature. I will say it could be executed a little bit better. The pump is very, very noisy, at least mine was from the factory, but I was able to make several modifications to quiet it down and I'll probably do a separate video on that soon but it is a really nice feature it gives you this filtered water spigot here by the kitchen sink and it also supplies your ice line on the refrigerator next two selling points are going to be out here and this first one is probably one of my favorites and that is when you order the gen prep or the generator option on the north point or the pinnacle you're going to get three 40 pound propane tanks you get two on this side on the driver's side and then one on the passenger side for a total total of 120 pounds of propane at your disposal. And that is a game changer. I mean, if you're camping in the winter months, you know how quickly you go through the propane with your furnace running. So to have 120 pounds, I really like that feature a lot. You know, most brands you're gonna get maybe 230 pound, 240 pound tanks at most. So I really don't know of many other brands that are giving you that much propane from the factory. But then the second one in here I'm gonna show you has to do with the 12 volt system. And let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So this is just basic 12 volt wiring in your RV, which is gonna be all over the place for your lights and just everything that's running off of 12 volts. And most RV brands, anytime they're putting two 12 volt wires together, they're using real simple kind of crimp splices. And I got a box of them down here kind of crimp splices where they'll feed the wires in here and then crimp this shut. And it's basically just holding the two or three wires, however many there are together. But Jayco uses, and I've noticed this is throughout the entire 12 volt system, Jayco uses these WAGO connectors. And I really have come to like these. I mean, these aren't cheap compared to the other ones I just showed you. They cost more. But what I like about them is they're kind of dummy proof. You know, with the kind of crimp style connectors that I showed you down here, these, I mean, I've seen it where I've worked on RVs, making modifications and such, and whoever crimped it didn't quite get the crimp tight enough. And so the wires were just barely in there, you know, ready to slide out. So if, you know, two wires get separated and they fall out of this connector, whatever that 12 volts feeding, whatever light or fan or whatever system they're feeding, that's gonna quit working for you. So it's really nice that Jayco went with these WAGO connectors. And like I said, they're kind of dummy proof because, you know, they're basically like an on or off switch more or less. So you can see right here, I've got them in the open position and you basically just feed your wires in those slots. And then once you get the wire in there, you just push that switch down and it locks that wire into position there so it can't be pulled out. So I really like these connectors. Like I said, they're more expensive and I've seen them throughout the entire coach. In fact, I have not seen a single one of these, you know, standard crimp splices. So it's really nice that Jayco uses these WAGO connectors. In fact, I just bought, you know, a, a few spare to have on hand in case I want to do any repairs or, or mods on the road. Next selling point is going to be the Blackstone griddle that Jayco ships with just about all their units now, I think with the outdoor kitchen. 
And I believe Jayco has some kind of exclusive arrangement right now where they're the only ones allowed to ship these from the factory with their units, at least the Blackstone brand. I mean, there's other brands out there that are similar with the griddle tops, but I think Blackstone is kind of known for that. So that's really nice. And I also like how they have the drawer slide system on this too, so that you've got plenty of clearance, you know, cause this generates a lot of heat when it's running, but they've got plenty of clearance to your RV. So you don't have to worry about anything overheating, but just a really nice overall package. And, you know, you can certainly buy this accessory afterward, but to have it built in, I think that's a big selling point for Jayco. Another selling point, let's talk the running gear, the tires and suspension that Jayco uses here on the Pinnacle. And actually, I believe this applies now across the board on all their towables. And that is that they exclusively use the Goodyear Endurance tires. So that's a brand that we're all familiar with. They have a good reputation, obviously. You know, if you've had an RV before, you know, a lot of manufacturers will throw on the cheapest tires they can get a hold of and it's kind of like a ticking time bomb that you get it as a customer and it's just a matter of time when it's going to prematurely fail or explode now whether that's due to being overloaded or the tires fault you know no one really knows but it is nice that Jayco went with a brand that has a really good reputation now here on the pinnacle i will say these are e-rated tires which is kind of unique you know a lot of times on a heavier fifth wheel you would expect to find g-rated or h-rated tires right at least that's what i had on my last fifth wheel so i was a little skeptical on these at first being e-rated you know they do have a very tall sidewall they're very thick side to side i'm not sure if that shows up in video but they are very beefy tires in fact i've heard them named the beast tires before but like i said they are e-rated tires each one individually though does have a load rating of over 4,000 pounds. So that's up there, you know, very close to G-rated territory. In fact, I think the last G-rated tires I had were about the same. So to be fair, even though they are E-rated tires, they have plenty of capacity, you know, between the four tires, that's 16,000 pounds. The axles, for those curious, are two 7,000 pound axles. And so, you know, again, plenty of capacity on these tires here. But let's show the suspension too, because this is another, selling point here on the Jayco. So they use a version of the Moride CRE 4000. And let me see if I can hop back behind here to give you a better view of what it all looks like. But basically, a lot of the uh, upgrades and such that I've had to do on previous RVs, they've actually done for you. Like the uh, thicker uh, shackle straps and the wet bolts here. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer so you can see all of that here. So you can see the thicker shackle straps here and uh, just a lot beefier. So it's nice that Jayco did all that for you. You can grease, of course, the wet bolts. And then another thing that I noticed here is this bar that runs between the two equalizers. So you'll notice the suspension equalizer right here, and then you got this bar in addition to the two axles that run all the way across there. And I think they call that a correct track bar. And it basically, if I understand it right, it just provides more stability between the two uh, axles and suspension and everything. So it's really nice that Jayco went to all those links to do that ahead of time for you so that you're not having to make those upgrades yourself later. Another selling point that's unique to Jayco is gonna be the BM Pro system. And this basically replaces the analog control panel that most RVs have where you know your tank levels, your slide controls, lighting and all that. So pretty much everything's in here now on this display. But I think what really sets this apart, you know, from other brands, because there's a lot of brands that are going digital and experimenting in that space. But what is really unique about this BM Pro system is first off, they have this row of buttons on the bottom that are completely separate from the tablet. So if the tablet portion fails up here, you still got these hard buttons below that you can control your lights, your water pump, your slides and your awnings. So it's really clever, I like that a lot. But then the other thing is just the overall interface, the UI here on the display. I really think it's super easy to use very to, easy to understand. And then when you get the app on your phone, it looks absolutely identical to what you're seeing here on the screen. So I really like that a lot. I did do a kind of a demonstration uh, in a video with tips and tricks. So I'll put a link up for that if you're interested, but this is definitely unique to Jayco. There's no other brand that has the same BM Pro system. And I personally really like it a lot. Now this next selling point I'll mention, it's not really unique to Jayco. There's certainly other brands that are doing this, but I have found that Jayco seems to do it more consistently across their floor plans. And that is the number of windows that they incorporate, especially over here on your neighbor's side. A lot of times these windows would get overlooked and skipped and you just have a wall there. 
So I really like that a lot. You know, I've come to find that in an RV, the more windows that you have, the more natural light comes in and that really makes a huge difference. And while we're talking windows, I'll just point out another one that's often skipped by a lot of manufacturers and that's this window over the headboard. Really makes a big difference. And then another small detail related to the windows, I've noticed this I think on just about all the towables, is that Jayco actually puts casing around the windows. I think they only do this in the living space, so they skip it in the bedrooms. But this is just kind of a nice detail because when you look around at all the windows, they just look a little bit thicker and beefier around the perimeter. And it just makes it look more residential like you're accustomed to seeing in your home. So I really like the way they trim out all the windows. Another selling point that Jayco is known for is the shoe storage that's built into this step here. You know, a lot of times in fifth wheels, this is all closed off here with the riser just running all the way across. So it's really nice that they, you know, trimmed it out and framed it up to have this extra storage that normally would get closed off and giving you access to that. Typically, you can fit, you know, two pairs of adult shoes in there, or half a dozen kids shoes. So that's another great selling point. Another feature that's kind of unique to Jayco, or at least not as common among other fifth wheel brands is to see this equalizer systems for the leveling so that includes the six hydraulic jacks that level the coach and you know most fifth wheels are going to have the lippert either the ground control or the level up system so it's kind of unique that jaco uses the equalizer systems it's something that you see more in a like a class a a motorized rv right and uh, you know i was watching a video from the manufacturer and really impressed with all the components especially how heavy duty it is i think these front jacks if i recall were rated at over 17,000 pounds a piece and then the rear jacks there's four of them were rated at i think over 7,000 pounds a piece so if you add up all that capacity it was well over 60,000 pounds so i guess overall it just seems like the equalizer system setup is just really a heavy duty system you know more than enough for the weight of the fifth wheel this next feature i'll point out it's kind of a small detail but really a nice selling point in the end and that is where the i-beam starts right here where it drops down you can see they actually take the skirting and conceal the I-beam so that it's not exposed. And you know, there are other brands that are doing this too, but I really like that Jayco chose to do this and it just makes it look a lot more polished and finished off. All right, this next feature I'll point out is one that I've mentioned a lot in my other videos, but I do think it's a big selling point for Jayco and that is the shower that you get in the Pinnacle. And it's also very similar in the North Point. You know, I think this is one of the best looking showers that you can get in a production fifth wheel right now. You know, I used to think that a one piece fiberglass enclosure was the best until I saw this set up here. And basically, you know, it's a three sided wall enclosure, one, two, three walls, right? And then you've got a fiberglass base and then they've added in that knee wall as well there. And I don't know if this is exclusive to Jayco. I think I saw it pop up in one other model recently. So maybe it's something that other brands are starting to source, but I do think it's a big selling point for Jayco. It's a really good looking shower. Another selling point that Jayco does, and this is one that I don't really hear a lot talked about, and that is the converter charger that Jayco uses. You know, it seems like a lot of brands are stuck using the WFCO line of converters. And what that means is when you want to upgrade to a lithium battery, you have to change out your charger because that WFCO stock charger isn't going to charge that lithium battery up to 100% because the floating voltage is different. So long story short, Jayco uses this Progressive Dynamics brand of converter charger. So this is your converter panel and then behind it is a charger. And what's really unique about the Progressive Dynamics line is they actually have a, a switch, kind of like a toggle switch that's hidden back in here that allows you to switch between lead acid and lithium batteries. So what that means is when you're ready to upgrade to a lithium battery, then you don't have to swap out your charger. You can just flip that switch on the Progressive Dynamics panel there and then you're all set. So I really think that's a big selling point for Jayco. I think more manufacturers should design their RVs so that they're fully compatible for lithium batteries, even if they don't offer them from the factory. All right, last selling point, number 13, and that has to do with the warranty. So you probably know in the RV industry, you know, one year bumper to bumper is a pretty standard warranty that most brands are gonna offer. And then nowadays, a lot of them are going to two years and that's what Jayco does, two year bumper to bumper. 
But what really sets Jayco apart is they actually advertise that that two year bumper to bumper warranty is also valid if you use your RV for full time living. Now, full disclaimer, I do not live in my RV full time, so I can't actually say what the experience is like if you need warranty service and you're living in it full time. But you know, a lot of brands allegedly, when they find out you're using your RV for full time living, they say, sorry, our warranty does not support folks that live in it full time because you know they think it's undergoing more wear and tear compared to someone that's using it recreationally. So the fact that Jayco advertises that their warranty is full time friendly is a big selling point. All right, well, that's my list. Now, obviously all those selling points aren't 100% unique to Jayco. Certainly there's other brands that are doing similar things. But in my opinion, when you take all 13 of those selling points together, it's what really makes Jayco stand apart. And again, I'm not affiliated with Jayco. I'm just a fellow Pinnacle owner. Now, if you haven't seen the full tour and review I did here on my 37 MDQS, definitely check it out. But let me know what you think in the comments. Did I hit the right selling points? Did I miss any? Well, as always, thanks for watching.